So genome instability is a hallmark of cancer cells. It has been estimated that roughly 1% of the genome is rearranged uh, due to mutations and uh, chromosome aberrations. Uh, genome instability is a huge problem as it contributes to the relapse of the disease following cancer treatment. And that's the reason because uh, the mutations cause uh, continuous development of the cancer cell and they become resistant to the drug. Genome damage occurs due to environment or cellular metabolism. However, normal cells are provided with a, several mechanisms that protect genome integrity and repair the lesions very efficiently. Now, tumor cells, in fact, it turns out that they become uh, defective in these processes which protect the genome and repair the lesions. And because of that, the lesions uh, are maintained or repaired in an abnormal manner. And therefore, this leads to the accumulation of mutations, which is a benefit for cancer cells. Well, uh, paradoxically, this is an advantage for us because um, uh, it has been found that most of the cancer drugs, anti-cancer drugs, uh, by serendipity, they've been identified, but they all affect the genome uh, integrity. So genome instability in tumor cells make the tumor cells extremely sensitive to agents which affect uh, the chromosome integrity. And uh, a large variety of these anti-cancer drugs, uh, that's what they do, they, they interfere with the, uh, with the chromosomal integrity. Well, indeed, this is one of the problems because uh, being mutagenic agents, at the end, they can affect also the integrity of the chromosome in normal cells. However, the two frontiers now are to, uh, to, to make sure that uh, the drug is delivered specifically to the tumor cells and to develop more specific drugs which affect certain repair subpathways, okay, just to tackle some uh, genetic defects in the tumor cells and not normal cells. Yes, IFOM uh, is an international cancer center which is supported by FIRC. FIRC is the Italian Foundation for Cancer Research. It hosts, it hosts uh, 16 groups uh, which work in cancer research from basic to translation research. And the IFOM shares the campus with the IAO, the hospital, and particularly with the scientists of the Departmental, uh, Department of Experimental Oncology. In total, the campus hosts something like 500 uh, scientists and it is the, the largest uh, cancer pool in Europe. Within the campus, there's a PhD program which is run by the European School of Molecular Medicine, SAM. And both uh, IFOM and AIO uh, use the SAM to, to train the students. Is it an international students. school or just Italian? It's an international school. We've got students from everywhere. At the moment, the 500 scientists come from 27 different nationalities.